Starting on a new page feels better every time. Flip a simple waking up next to you. Hi guys, so we are starting a new vlog today. Um, this might just honestly be a half day vlog because I have a lot of stuff to do. So I actually just finished running. You know one thing I really don't like about the sports bra is that the padding sticks out so it looks kind of funny. But anyways, I it was my first day back at running but I'm about to take a shower and yes so i have contacts on if you're wondering why why my eyeballs look so huge i'm gonna take it off right now probably put it put them back on it's because when i go run outside um obviously i don't want to run with glasses on but i need to see so i put on contacts while i ran we're gonna try to be as productive as possible today i have to go to the post office to drop off something at uh the post office um that i was able to sell for poshmark so that was nice i'm gonna be reorganizing my brushes today uh, i washed a bunch this morning which i will show you in a second and yeah i'm gonna cook dinner for my family just clean my room in general uh i have to go to the pet store gotta go to ulta to pick up something i might do a first impressions just for fun uh i i bought the kat von d good apple foundation i know it's been like nine months since it got released but it was just sold out everywhere and because i have an acne flare going on right now i thought it would be fun to try a full coverage foundation hopefully i like it because it is uh 38 dollars but luckily i was able to use my ulta points so i bought a couple things so i was on, i only had to pay like 15 dollars for the things that i buy i think about like three or four things but i will show you guys when we get there so i'm probably not gonna wear any makeup for the whole day until i get the kat von d good apple foundation but yes just a little intro so yeah let me go take a shower really quick oh but let me show you uh, all my brushes okay guys so this is the current situation for the brushes yes they're on the floor this towel is clean don't worry so these are just kind of my drugstore brushes and i also have been washing some brushes let me show you so i have two kabuki brushes right here i honestly don't really like this fenty one but i bought it during the hype when she just came out with her body lava not that i even have the body lava but everyone in the comments said this was a great foundation brush i don't really like it it's kind of streaky for me personally but i have it this brush i actually bought because of zoella she uses this brush for like all of her everyday makeup videos um yeah so i bought it i actually really like it to be honest it's cool because it has like the little divot but it's washing right now and then this is actually how i wash my brushes i'm so sorry if you can't hear me the windows open but yes i bought this brush because of jen m fenty brushes uh yeah so these are just the ones that were dirty and let me just show you the rest of my brushes just for the sake of these are my dual ended brushes the thing that i hate about dual ended brushes is that there's no way to like store them because i don't have a drawer for my makeup area like this is it it's kind of messy right now but yes yeah, so these are my kind of like everyday brushes i guess or basically just my favorite brushes i have sonia g wayne goss like random synthetic ones this morphe one that i have to use tape i actually don't like like morphe morphe brushes because every single one that i've ever had and i mean every single morphe brush that i've ever had it's come off and i had to use tape on it so that's ugly however for christmas i did get the ariel brushes and i mean they've been a hit so far but to be honest i haven't washed i've only washed one because i just got them but yeah so we're gonna be reorganizing i'm probably gonna be swapping some brushes out but in general most of these ones are gonna stay because these are all of my my hakuhodo chikuhodo like sonya g wayne goss brushes so yes but i just thought i'd give you a little preview i'm gonna be reorganizing this situation yes just finished taking a shower and I actually wanted to just do a quick mention. Have any of you guys tried this? The Breath of Fresh Air. They have this one and the tea tree oil toner. Um, I've tried the tea tree oil, oil toner like a couple years back. And then I went into Lush to go buy the Mask of Magnanimity. And the Cosmetic Warrior is my favorite out of their fresh face masks. And I've been using that on my skin for the last three days and then honestly do you ever go into certain stores and you're like i just feel like buying something right this i wasn't going in there to buy it but you know i was like you know what why not because you know me i love my facial sprays so the employee like really sold me on this one because i asked him between this one and the tea tree oil one because i was honestly leaning towards the tea tree oil one just because of my skin obviously and he actually said this one is his favorite and yeah and then he said the tea tree oil one's better if you have like more oily to combo skin and i have more combo to dry skin i feel 
but yeah so i've been using this for the last three days and i honestly feel like my skin has been liking it i can't say for sure obviously because when my skin is this inflamed and i just go on like full like recovery mode i my skin might like not care about this or it could be liking this it's just i drink a lot of my apple cider vinegar water and i've been masking a lot so it could be that but yes my skin is healing it's getting better slowly but surely we're gonna survive out of this flare-up i spray this as the last step after i moisturize so sometimes i do it before and after so like before the essence and then sometimes i do it after the moisturizer too let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this before or if you hate both of them but yes okay uh, oh, this is my outfit. This is one of my Christmas presents too. It's the slate gray uh, aloe Soho sweater. If you've never tried the Soho sweater, 10 out of 10 recommend. This is my third one. Um, one day I will have 10. <laughs> it's just, it's so soft. It's so ridiculously soft. And I'm wearing um, aloe biker shorts. And then I'm going to be wearing uh, white shoes. I think my bag of the day is going to be my bum bag. The only... Actually, no, I think I'm going to change to my Prada Re-Edition only because my hair is still wet. And obviously my bum bag has Vachetta on it and I air dry my hair. So I don't really want my bum bag strap to get water drops. Okay, we're making the executive decision. We're going to be using my Prada Re-Edition to run errands. I just dropped off my Poshmark thing and then I'm going to go to Ulta right now really quick to go pick up uh the stuff that it ordered and then i'll show you guys and then we gotta go to the market and then what else i have to do something else but i can't remember so bye uh yeah yeah but it should be under maggie thank you hi okay so you see this little gray bit on the side that is like where you guys are right now is like kind of in my little gps area but i wanted to show you guys what i bought from ulta and i forgot to bring lip balm so my lips are like super chapped right now but I mean, oh okay so i had to rearrange my phone for like a second but i thought i would show you guys what i bought i just got four things so i got the essence um, oh, this is not that dirty. But anyways, so I got the Essence False Lash Effect Mascara. The reason why I bought this is because this Korean girl that I follow on YouTube, I'm not going to open this right now, but uh, she uses this one and the Glossier Mascara together and her lashes look super like light and fluttery. Obviously, she probably has lashes too but i thought i would give it a go because it's only 4.99 so cheap next thing i got this is on the ulta like their beauty steals thing right now and it's 50 percent off so obviously i wanted to try it it is the bare mineral skin longevity long life herb serum um like the third ingredient in this is niacinamide and my acne loves niacinamide so i thought i would give this a go and there were so many good reviews so many good reviews Haley bieber also says she really likes this this is my absolute absolute favorite must-have can't live without travel everywhere with it um, this product is so great it's so hydrating it has niacinamide in it which is one of my absolute favorite skincare ingredients in general yeah the third ingredient is niacinamide granted she's a brand ambassador but she actually says she really likes the serum so I thought I would give it a go as well so I also got the good apple foundation by Kat Von D I, it's yeah i'm like hella lagging on this i don't know if this is gonna be my shade we shall see i was debating between 27 30 and then 33 they were all pretty similar but i actually feel like this might be too dark doesn't this look too dark oh my gosh this looks way too dark oh wow i actually might just exchange it right now um yeah actually yeah i think this is way too dark yeah okay well that's good that i took it out okay <laughs> so i'm actually gonna go back inside really quick i probably won't vlog it but i'll be right back okay quick little update five minutes later so apparently when you order pickup for ulta online you can't exchange things until like a 24 hours later because the online order is not in the system yet so that shade that i got which is 30 is way too dark i should have just gone with my gut and got 27 but i was afraid 27 was going to be too light 
But yes, so I'm gonna come back tomorrow and then exchange the 30 for the 27, which sucks because I can't do the first impression later today. But it's okay, I'll just morph these two days together and then we can do a first impression tomorrow. So yeah, that's unfortunate though, I have to drive back. Let me show you guys what I bought. I'm just on a spending spree right now. So I got these disposable face masks. How freaking cute is this? And then this one is also <laughs> super cute. <laughs> Okie dokies. And then, um, well, these ones are just boring. So these ones are pink, but they look kind of like N95, but not N95. So we'll see. And then I just got a box of pink masks. It was really funny because the lady was like, these are pink. And I was like, oh yeah, I know. So yeah, how freaking cute. And then I did, okay, no more spending money after this. I caved and I bought this. I'm the fakest BTS fan, but I think Jungkook is super good looking. So fakest BTS fan, but realist Jungkook fan. How cute is that? The fact that it says JK on it really sold me. <laughs> and it's lilac, look. Hey guys so i'm just popping on here really quick just to show you that i just put on my cosmetic warrior mask i yeah i love this if you have acne or struggle with acne i 10 out of 10 recommend this and there's honey in this as well as kaolin clay and i feel like the honey is my favorite bit of this is that it's like very moisturizing and it's very comfortable whereas even though my aztec clay mask is really strong and i love it it's just very intense and i just want to show you the current situation i've been avoiding doing this this entire day i was running just a bunch of errands and now here we are <laughs> i need to get uh so this is gonna be like my travel ones but i actually need to get more plastic bags because these ones are really old they don't even close anymore and i think instead i just put all my brushes in one thing i think i'm actually going to organize it and do like cream products like the brushes that i would use for like foundation liquid cream products and then like eyes highlighter yeah, I think I'm gonna do a couple separate bags. So I don't know if I'm gonna film it just because I feel like this would take me at least like 30 minutes, but we shall see. Hi guys, so I thought I would just show you the updated organized version of this. So this one is the only one that I wrote it down on, the rest I didn't. But so this one is just kind of like my base product brushes, like basically what I would put like either foundation or even primer with. You can see we have the like sigma synthetic brushes we have this clinique brush that i um like to use either foundation or primer with and then also we have the cheek brushes bag which obviously is quite large and in charge basically bronzers um and blush brushes and then also some highlighter brushes as well you see like the really popular the small real techniques one we have a mixture of ColourPop, mac Fenty, we have Shiseido brushes, Tarte brushes, Equal Tool brushes. I literally have almost every single brush brand. This one kind of just has the same thing with base products, but these ones are more um, a mixture of concealer brushes. And on top of that too, these are kind of all like the, you know, the Signature Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Kind of anything that has like a short, chubby, like domed application. That's how I divided these ones. And then this one is my powder brushes. So, and slash bronzer brushes. So basically these are all the brushes that have like the really big heads. So you can see like this one, this Real Techniques 
Real Techniques brush is super old. I don't know if you guys remember this. This used to be like during like when all of the UK YouTubers um, and every single like beauty vlogger were using Real Technique brushes. Anyways, there's a Fenty bronzer brush in here. So yeah, I even have like this super giant Sephora brush that's huge, huge, huge. But yeah, so it looks way more organized now. And I even just have like a travel one. So I have Chikuhoto, Wayne Goss, MAC brushes in here. And then the rest of my like everyday brushes, quote everyday, um, is going to be uh, on my like vanity area. Oh wait, I totally forgot about this one. So I actually do have um, eye brushes as well. These are kind of just like the ones that I don't care about or don't really like. So I have ColourPop. Um, yeah, just like drugstore brushes in here. And whereas all of my favorite like eyeshadow brushes are going to be, of course, like on my vanity. But yes, it's all organized now. I did exchange my Kat Von D that I bought yesterday, which was the main reason for this trip. As you guys can see, my skin is healing. It doesn't look like it's healing, but trust me, this is healing right now. It's not as inflamed as before, which is actually perfect to test this because this is full coverage. And not even the fact that it's full coverage, but I can also just see how it lays over acne. Because I see so many videos of people using this foundation and their skin is, well, basically textureless right so it's like it's kind of unfair when i see people do foundation demos but they don't have acne because it's like obviously if you have really smooth no texture skin any foundation honestly will look good on you so i got the shade 27 oh yeah this is a way better match than yesterday yesterday that was way too dark but i plan on fake tanning next week <laughs> so i'll be able to use this for like one week and then uh if i really really like it honestly i'll buy it in a in a darker shade so i can wear it when i have fake tan and when i don't have fake tan but yes i'm actually gonna give this a go i'm not going anywhere for the rest of the day so it'll be like a first impressions but not a solid review because a real review would be me wearing this and actually like wearing a mask having that like steam within the mask because i don't know about you guys but when i wear my mask and i have foundation like the condensation going on in my mask really breaks down my foundation but that just could be me because i have a uh, acne so yeah um but i'm gonna try this out when i go home Ooh. and yes okay i'll see you at home bye guys okay so i saw this have any of you guys tried this before i thought this looked really tasty and very interesting my dog is having like stomach issues right now so i thought probiotics might be helping him i also bought this that i always see every time but i never try it so today i decided to finally oh my goodness try it this multi-protein recipe i like that there's sweet potatoes in this too and then i just got some more treats i got some like dental cat treats like this and then i'm thinking of changing my dog's food he's only uh, two years old turning three this year so i decided to try this out this is expensive like this bag is pretty small for the whole thing i think it's like 27 dollars, but it was on sale today for like 21 dollars. but yes out of all there's like five different kinds and this one was actually the most expensive out of all of them so i was like ooh, maybe this one's the best one i like that there's um lentils carrots and rice oh sorry <laughs> i just hit my phone bison in here as well and then i also bought another leash for Dior, but it was really the color that got me. Let me just show you. So they have, well, they have like three leashes, but tell me this isn't the prettiest shade. It's like a jade color, but it's like teal, but also green at the same time. I thought it was super pretty. And then, yeah, and then I just bought a bunch of treats. Okay, hi guys, so we are back in my kitchen. I just wanted to open this on camera because I honestly have no idea. Oh, they're like actual little cups. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, do you have to thaw this? Does it say? Sir Frozen. Interesting. Okay. Okay, do you think I should try this one or this one? Oh my gosh, I just... Okay, this is way too cute. Okay, I think I'm going to give them half and then they'll all share it. And then I think I'm going to do this one in uh, for dinner time. Yeah, I'm so excited. Hi, babies. Okay, we're gonna do a taste test. So, hold on. This is kind of hard to do. Hold on. So we're gonna. Oh, it's really creamy. 
Okay, here we're gonna give it to Kira first, cause okay or Dior. Oh wow, do you like it, Dior? Oh, she lo well. The thing is, Dior's not a really good judge, cause Dior eats everything. He's the pickiest one though, so we're gonna see if Chubbs likes it. Your turn. Let's see. See, Chubbers is really picky. And then Kiro's actually not that picky. He eats almost everything, but he doesn't really care about food that much. Okay. Well, it's Kiro and Dior approved. I'm going to try to give it to Chubbers in his room, like in his actual bowl, because he sometimes doesn't like to be hand-fed. Okay, so it's definitely dog approved. Look, she has little yogurt on her mouth. <laughs> you guys want more? They're like, we want more. Hi guys, so we are sitting on the floor because honestly, it's, what time is it? It is 3.37, so there's basically absolutely no sunlight or anything in my room and I really wanted to test out this foundation even though I'm not really doing anything like I said, but I just wanted to try it. So I actually have my ring light set up, so I don't know if it'll be like true to color or if it'll just be kind of skewed, I'm not sure. But let me show you guys, so I do have the Kat Von D Good Apple Foundation. I'm so lucky that I waited until after the hype finally died down because it was sold out everywhere and I was like, there's no rush. I have so many foundations. So this is the shade that I exchanged it for. Honestly, I haven't touched that at all. Tell me this isn't the most... Oh my gosh, do you see how satisfying this is? How there's like no marks, no nothing. I think this is going to be a great color match. And if I really like this, then I'm going to buy this in a darker shade for when I'm fake tan. <gasps> oh no, my battery's going to die. Hold on. Alrighty, take two. Uh, now my battery is fully charged. So I'm going to be taking a uh, primer. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I actually do use a couple primers. So I'm going to just test out this foundation probably every single day until i fake tan just so i can like really use it but i'm gonna try a different primer every day so this one i'm using like the really rich moisturizing primer i think tomorrow i'm gonna try the tatcha silk canvas with this and then um i have two more primers on top of that the rare beauty primer is actually one of my favorite primers not in terms of long wearingness but I just really like the way my skin looks when I use the Rare Beauty Primer and foundation just lays really well on top of it. So I do have my eyebrows on already just because I was running errands earlier and I just felt like doing my brows. So they are a little bit dark right now, so just don't mind that. Actually, let me put a little bit of lip balm on. This one is honestly my new favorite. It's the Venetian Rose by M Cosmetics. It's literally... Uh, your lips but better color. I honestly thought it would be more opaque I thought the magic hour was my favorite, but this one is actually my favorite I definitely want to buy like two more of these if they ever have a lip cushion sale Alrighty, so we're finally gonna test this out like everyone says I adore the packaging on this Yes, this doesn't have a mirror, but it just looks so nice all the reviews that I've seen and I've seen a lot at least like 15 videos of people either applying this or using it. I just love the way it looks and the only thing that I'm nervous is because Whitney Simmons put this foundation in her favorites and I don't know why but any foundation that Whitney Simmons loves, like loves, loves, my skin absolutely hates. I think it's just a difference in texture. I've tried Thrive Cosmetics CC Cream. She absolutely adored it. My skin hated it. It looks so cakey. It, it just enhanced my dryness on my face as well. She loved the Too Faced Born This Way. Bought that because of her. My skin hated hated that and I tried that twice because she mentioned it on two separate favorites videos and I was like oh maybe it's the shade because sometimes if the shade match is either too light I mean in general if it's too light I feel like you just look more ashy and it just doesn't look good what there's another foundation that she really liked I, I've tried like four different base products that she loved and adored and then at, after that I'm just like if Whitney Simmons loves it most likely i'm not gonna like it so i'm a little bit nervous about this one because she says this is her new holy grail foundation but yeah but a couple other people that i follow say that they like it so we're gonna give it a go today i'm gonna be applying it with a synthetic face brush tomorrow i think i'm gonna use a brush and then the third day i think i'm gonna use a sponge because i do know some people use sponges if i do really like this foundation i think 
And not that I need it, because you guys obviously saw my brush collection. Uh, I think I do want to buy the Kat Von D brush, but that's only if I like this foundation. So obviously you guys can see all of my texture right now, which is why I wanted to test this out. Just because I've said this before and I will say it forever, is that when you have like a lot of acne, this isn't just like three pimples and then you're like, oh, I'm breaking out. No, when you have like this kind of situation going on, the dryness around the acne is very apparent you will only understand this if you have acne because spot treatments and well mainly honestly spot treatments just really dry out that area and then on top of that too just the skin on top of a pimple foundation does not stick onto it and then it's worse if your pimple popped and then you have kind of like the scab i guess on top that does not take foundation well either so anyways enough talking so let's just give it a go I wanna be just, everyone just says you just need a little bit. So should I start with here? Actually, I'm just gonna start with my cheek. It's just, do you think I should stipple? Maybe I'll stipple. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna work with what we got. This is a lot lighter than I expected it to look. Cause in the pan, it doesn't look that light. Okay, so this is a perfect example. You, you can kind of see it right here where it's like super dry. And it's definitely clinging to my dry patches. I mean, granted, this is very light. But yeah, it's definitely clinging to my dry patches. Maybe I should have just got the color that I originally got. Okay, well, we're committed. We're committed. It's fine. So this is what I wanted to try. This is the Danessa Myricks Bronzer. When this first came out, oh, that's also really satisfying. Do you see how clean that is? Oof, my goodness. So, I'm going to take just a little bit like this. And then we're just going to bronze up my face. Maybe I can like rectify this. I think this primer is the issue too in terms of just finish because I don't know. Like so many people like the Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base and I try to like it. But out of all the primers that I have, it's actually my in my top two. Like when you wear it with makeup on my skin it actually does not make my foundation look good but when i see lisa eldridge use it i feel like it looks so good on all the models that she uses it on but on this cream bronzer though i really like it it's like really really pretty hmm i mean it looks better but the center of my face is so pale Okay, I'm gonna go to Ulta again for the third day in a row tomorrow and I'm gonna buy the darker shade. Yes, I, yeah, rats. Also, I wanted to show you guys what I ordered from Amazon. So one of the Korean YouTubers that I follow, I'll put um, like a video clip of it right here. But basically she had her like lipsticks and obviously hers is a thousand times bigger, but she has like a million subscribers. I'm sure she gets sent things and just buys a bunch of stuff. But I like the way that she displayed her lip products, as you guys can see in this clip. I just, uh, I feel like that's such ultimate bathroom goals. So I decided to buy a mini version of it. As you guys can see here, it's going to be stacked like just three little trays. So I'm going to put it together right now. And then we're going to put all of my like lip products. I'm honestly thinking of putting like cream blushes too, like the Rare Beauty stuff. Just because I don't think I have that many lip products. But we shall see, we shall see. This is just the before and then we'll go right into the after so this is the current situation right now so obviously i do have other lip balms the laneige one i'm actually going to give away um and i have a couple other lip balms that i don't really like but these are just all my favorites like my favorites except i put this here just because it's kind of the same tube i know i have another one of these in another purse because i actually really really like the milk um what is this the kush thing their stick version, I actually have it as well, but I'm going to give this away too because I actually don't really like it. But anyways, the Fenty one I actually don't like at all. I feel like it dries out my lips, but the shape is similar, so I thought it would look cute here. But let me just run through this really quick. Obviously, you guys know that I love Dior lip gloss, so <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think we have, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have 10 Dior lip gloss, and then I have the lip scrub lip oils i do want to buy the berry and the coral one too and then i have the lip maximizer 
And just because these are all Dior, I thought of putting the Chanel. Um, this is the Boy, number 54. They're, it's like the tinted lip balm. I actually do like this one. It's really, really sheer. But So I put Dior and Chanel up here. Um, but this is nice because the... Actually, no, it doesn't fit. I lied. Okay. And then the next area is like half lip balms, half lipsticks. So the Tatcha lipsticks and the Hourglass lipsticks are my ride or die. Love those. They actually don't have this one anymore. Um, this used to be my go-to Dior lipstick it was the one in the jennifer lawrence ad like way back when yeah this lipstick's pretty old but i actually do still use it it's like a very bright pink color like a fuchsia color and it was in the ad that she was in just for frame of reference it's in shade 976 but i do actually still use it and i just like tap tap so I have Bare Minerals lipsticks, a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that I actually really do like, um, Rare Beauty lipsticks, um, the Victoria Beckham lipsticks are actually really, really good too. I want to buy a couple more. There's another one that I have somewhere in a purse, but I don't know where that is. I have the NARS, um, like the Afterglow lip balms. And then down here, obviously, you can see my M Cosmetics. I have the Rare Beauty. I actually want to buy one more, but either in the fuchsia color or in the red, like one bright one. But this is actually amazing. And then obviously, you guys know how much I love M Cosmetics. Lip products, ride or die over here too. I have the Laneige Lip Balm. I actually don't really like this, but I'm just going to use it up just because I bought it. And then this is the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask, a limited edition one. And then I do have all the Tatcha ones right here in all of the different colors. And then the gold one that's like this. I usually use this one before I go to sleep or I use this one, well, anytime. And then, yes, but how cute is this? So I just need to figure out if I'm going to, like, rearrange my makeup area and put this over here or if I'm going to put it, like, where my glasses are and stuff. So we shall see. But, yes, isn't it so cute? Um, so you put it up by screws. So it's like that. Yay! <laughs> guys so i wanted to show you real quick so i prepped all of the cherry tomatoes i just cut them in half and then i also did do a half of a chili pepper or maybe a third of it because the ones that my dad grows in his garden are very very spicy so you can see a couple seeds there so i just put it over here i have a couple cloves of garlic majority of this is going to go straight into the pan but i believe two cloves i'm going to use for my um, homemade caesar salad dressing and then I pre-cut the parsley already too, just so that everything's ready. So I didn't show you guys, but I'm gonna put the last part of the dressing is the lemon. The lemon and garlic, I feel like, are the most important parts. And then I usually always add some extra sauce. 